What's going on, Jeff? Um, not too much. Training. We're live with nobody watching. What do you I have mean, to say to alive. your zeros of fans watching right now? I mean, we are live. I mean, we ain't live. See how long we ain't live take. until somebody get on there. Well, they'll come back and watch it later. See, I, I think I put it public. Unless I still have it unlisted. Man, let me see. It's 35 seconds in. Nobody yet. I wonder if I have it unlisted still. Oh, there's someone. We got somebody. We're on a roll now. We got our first person. Shoot. Two people. We're we're all right now. We're running running here. What's going on, man? Eight people. Jordan Mitchell. I think he's in here all the time. He says, "Yo, what's up?" All right. Welcome to Ask J. Mess. Is it possible to learn boxing by watching training videos? You know, Jeff has some training videos. So hit us up. We'll send you some autographed copy videos out there for a small fee. Hit Jeff, hit Jeff up. Yeah, um, a lot of people have told me about watching the videos and they at least, you know, got better. How come Jeff is so cool? Jeff is not cool at all. He's an asshole. What's up, Dean? No, Jeff, why are you so cool, man? I don't know. I guess I, I just like to treat people the way they treat me. Yeah. Oh, that's why you treat me like shit. Yeah. Yeah, you treat me like shit. Yeah, that's why. Okay, okay I didn't yeah. know that. If I'm nice to you, you'll be cool then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you'll be nice to me. I'll be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? All right, guys. Welcome. Ask Jeff May with anything. Throw out the questions. We will answer as many as possible. Please uh, help support the channel. Hit that super chat, and we'll definitely get to your question if you do that. Uh, appreciate it. Without your support, we can't do what we do. Let's see. Jeff. Wait, who's... Jeff, do you still eat healthy? Jeff has never. I'm gonna answer that. Jeff has never eaten healthy. Yeah, he thinks know, chips are are a vegetable. Potato chips are it a is vegetable. vegetable. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, do you still eat healthy, Jeff? Yes, I eat very healthy. What did you have for lunch today? For lunch, I didn't eat lunch today. Oh, yes, I did. Burger King. <laughs> Burger King. So, <laughs> yeah, healthy as can be. Healthy as can be. Uh, someone asked here, and you're not going to answer it this way, but we'll be, they say, who's a better turner between you and Floyd Sr.? Let's ask it this way. What's the difference between you and Floyd Sr. as trainers? Um, well, I mean, I don't, I don't judge myself against anyone. No, that's what I was saying. Who's, but what's different? Like, if I want... What's if different? I mean, I teach... I think I teach defense maybe a little better than Floyd. And uh, that's about it. And you're not as fast as Floyd. I'm not on the bench. <laughs> People say that I'm not, so I guess I'm not. All right. Hey, shame in my game. Crawford or Spence? Um, I do believe that it's a pick and fight. And um, I like both guys a whole lot. And I, I think when the fight gets closer and, you know, something something comes up then I'll pick but right now I, I don't want to pick either one I mean because the fight hasn't even been made yet. Someone I don't think we've ever approached this but it seems like there how many kids does Jeff have and is he married? Zero. Zero kids and not married. Zero that you know of. Yeah zero zero I do know of. I know all my kids that I don't, don't have. <laughs> Are you going to Floyd's fight? In Dubai? Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. No. Someone wants to send him out there. Well, I think you actually got a previous engagement, don't you? What? Are you going to Dallas or something that week? Um, is, that on the, is that on the 17th? 14th. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go to Dallas. On the 14th. Uh, let's see. One more. Oh! Complex persona, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Jeff, when was the last time someone bugged you about Floyd? It's a daily occurrence, right? Um, every day. How many how many texts, whether it be Instagram, phone, whatever, how many messages do you get involving some kind of something with Floyd, whether it be some business proposition or whatever? Um, almost every day. Almost every day, 
um, at least maybe about 10 minutes. Yeah. And Jeff loves that, so by all means, hit him up, ask him everything you want to know about Floyd. Jeff just loves. If you got any ideas for Floyd, throw them by Jeff. He'll be happy to get them to you. To Floyd. Uh, let's see. Who taught him and your brothers to fight? Father, uncle, who? Who what? taught you guys? Who taught the family to fight? You said your dad wasn't a fighter, right? No, my dad never fought. I mean, Floyd Sr. started. Um, boxing. I mean, he, he kind of helped Roger. And um, I actually, I learned from different trainers. I never, uh, I never actually learned from from them. I learned from watching them, but I didn't actually, I was never really trained by either one of them. And to piggyback off that, how'd you get to boxing, right? Well, Roger. I, I ended up getting into boxing solely because of Roger. I mean, my affection and my love for my brother is the reason why I'm still here today because everywhere he went I was a shadow and so and so basically um, he when I came I landed in Las Vegas the first thing he said is here I have a car for you give me a car give me a manager Give me a place to stay. I was here. Why is Jeff such a badass? What the hell? Your family must all be on here again today. All these nice talking about you. No, it's because I'm nice. What's that? That's because I'm nice. That's why you're a badass? No, I ain't no badass. I'm a, I'm a nice ass. <laughs> I don't want to know either way. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Let me see what this is. This is something I think someone's saying they know you here. Let's see. Ask Jeff, does he want to see Rodney Booker on the basketball court? Jeff stayed down the road for me in Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah, I know Rodney. We used to we used to play at the, at this park right across the street from his house. I used to beat him all the time. <laughs> hey. Man, he must have been terrible if you were beating him. He, he only did all. <laughs> and you're like five foot four, so I mean, he's a like, certified uh, little ah. person. What's up, Rodney? Well, I think that was a friend of... I, mean, oh, I don't think that was Rodney himself. I think he's... Oh, okay. All right, so is uh, KSI still training with Jeff? No. He's not even training with um, the with doll anymore. So, no, he's definitely not training with me. I think we'll see him back in the... They said they would, but I don't think so. I mean, how can you like Jake if I mean you can do it for money for sure but I mean you have a business with him brother yeah so I mean that's that's kind of weird unless they had some kind of arrangement yeah I mean then it, yeah then it'll be a trilogy <laughs> all right hey Jeff all right once again I'm getting as many questions as I can please hit that super chat support the channel uh who which brother are you closest to Roger me and Roger are like only three years apart in age. Well, we'll ask, we asked this question, but we won't say, well, you can answer if you want to, but I'm going to change it. Someone said, how much money did you make against Oscar? You don't have to ask. You can just answer, what did you make your first fight if you don't want to talk about that, because that was probably your biggest no, fight. No, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it. All right, so what did you make your first fight? We did that before. Um, I think $600. 600 all right. Not bad, man. Uh, oh, here we go. What made you put Mr. T into the intro, Jeff? What made you do that? Yeah, I, um, I thought that would be a, a nice touch yeah, good to a, um, the channel. Um, see, because at first Jeff just we, Jeff said, hey, let's put Mr. the Mr. T clip in there. And they said, you know what would be better? Let's put my voice in there instead of the guy from the movie, and we'll do that. It was a great idea. Great thinking, Jeff. Yeah, it was a great idea, but I will give this guy credit. What? He does something. He does something for the channel. Yeah, that was my that was all my idea. Yeah, that was his idea. I'm not gonna take it from him. Everybody thinks Jeff does everything. <laughs> but we, they do love that though. That was that was the I mean that was the best thing I, the only good thing I ever did. Yeah, that's the only good thing you did. <laughs> Alright, thanks again, complex persona, appreciate it. Uh, have you lost that's a good question. Have you lost have you stopped being friends with people over maybe them? trying to get to Floyd through you? 
not really because most of the time it's people that I don't really know. Right. And if I don't know you, and then you I'm can sniff them out from the beginning that they don't really yeah, look to be I mean, friends. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and, and the one thing is this is that, like I said, I mean, you know, I have my own life. You know, so, I mean, if you want to talk to me, tell me something about me, that's fine. Don't use me to try to get to him. And I've seen people come up to Jeff in the gym, and I still remember that one. Uh, someone comes up and hands Jeff, I say, hey, Jeff, here's a bunch of T-shirts. And Jeff thinks he's giving them to him. They're like, can you give them to Floyd? People shit like that. People just like coming up like Jeff's gonna be their their go through man, and Jeff's his own guy. So yeah, so people do people do try, but Jeff's not falling for that yeah, shit. It happens. All right, Sante, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Who would have won, Canelo or Tommy Hearns? That's a tough one. We could do that in a fantasy fight. That's, yeah, that's a real real tough one. I mean, I would say I hate. I hate to say it, but I think Canelo only because I think Canelo would touch Tommy at some point. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I would. I would have. I would have to say. I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to say that. <laughs> I don't either, but I just I think mean, Tommy's Tommy, got it. Doesn't have the chin Canelo has, right? So no, he don't have the chin that Canelo has. So that so might, Tommy'd have that to knock him be, out. That might be. But don't don't forget, he knocked Grant out. You know. I mean, you never know. But it could be. I mean, it, I mean that's a fight that either guy can win that night. It just depends on who who strikes first, and you know it's a whole lot of different you know things that can make that fight happen or be a win for either one of them. Someone says softball questions. What do you think we're doing? I think we're doing hard hitting questions here. Of course, are softball questions. Uh, let's see. Is it much? We don't usually do about these kind of questions, but is it much harder to box taller opponents? Um, well, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean. You're reaching up, and when you reach up, you don't have power. It takes a lot. And the only way you can really get power, generate power, is you got to throw the overhand. And, I mean, if you catch someone with the overhand, you got a good chance of winning. Or getting a good chance of, or even knocking the guy out if you got punch power. It's funny, I didn't look at his name when he asked. He said, it is, it says Rodney Booker right on the name. So it said, it is Rodney Booker who asked the question, what's up, Jeff? I'll be in Vegas for NBA Summer League. We got to hook up. All right, cool. Gotta be right here anyway. Where's it at? When, they, when they're doing the summer league stuff. Oh, in this complex? <coughs> I think they do it in this complex, and they do it. Um, they have the games at um, the Orleans. I know the answer to this, but I think it's funny because uh, tell me how it would break down, though. Not the fight itself, but what would happen? It says, "Would you ever fight Floyd and Senior in an exhibition?" Um. I know why you wouldn't, because you would want to make it a fun play, and, fl and Senior would get in there and try to kill you, because he's right? Yeah. So I don't think we can do that. I mean, am I right, though? Wouldn't he, <laughs> he would take it very... Oh, yeah. I mean, he wants to win. He like would take everything serious. Yeah. He, don't, he don't joke. You go in there, have a good time, try to move around, yeah, dance yeah, a little bit, and he'd yeah, be over he'd there. Be man for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, who's the hardest puncher you faced? Um, oh, I missed someone's super chat. Let me go back and find you, buddy. I think probably Todd Foster, maybe. Sorry about that. Dago619, Cali Factor, thanks for calling me. I didn't see your super chat. Thank you. Salute Jeff. Who wins, Wilder or Frazier? I would say Wilder. You think? Yeah. Wow. You think maybe because... Frazier didn't do well against someone like uh, Foreman. Maybe handle his I power. They could be similar. You realize. I mean, you see, you see what Foreman did to him. Yes. And, and Wilder probably punched just as hard as Foreman. But does he have the skill? Don't matter. It ain't about the skill. How many people have he knocked out already without that skill? Yeah, but not Joe Frazier. Yeah, Joe, Joe Frazier. Vern to Vern. Not... It don't make no difference. <laughs> Believe me, if Wilder hit you, and if Wilder hit you clean, you're going to sleep. Yeah, but... So yeah, you... I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, and of course, I mean, with, with Joe Frazier, I mean, it's going to be tough, real tough, to try to get in there. And he's going to, like I said, the only punch that he can try to land is to, over over the top. And if you don't land over the top, chances are you're going to get knocked out. Sante, appreciate it again. 
I like the way Sean Porter dresses, but he says, worst dresser, Butch Lewis or Sean Porter? <laughs> I guess I have to say Butch Lewis, because he never wore a shirt. <laughs> I think, I mean, you know Sean spends money on his wardrobe. He's always, I don't know, I like the way Sean dresses. I ain't got a problem with it. All right. We're going to pretend this is a serious question, Jeff. So try to, maybe we'll pretend it's probably a kid. Who wins, KSI or Vidal? Vidal. <laughs> so if you're not trolling, Vidal is a real actual boxer. KSI is a YouTuber who boxes. Big, big, big difference. A whole lot different. Yeah. I mean, you fancy... You've been doing that as a kid. Right, he's a decorated amateur. He would be, Vidal would be Jake Paul, V KSI, V Logan Paul, any of those guys. Uh, can you upload more of your fights? There's, a few, there's three or four of your fights on YouTube, I know, but you don't, do you even have your fights? I have, I have, I have fights. I have my, I have my, my championship fight. I have it on DVD. We should upload it. <laughs> have to get it to me and see if we can get it uploaded on the channel or something. I don't know, I don't know how you can do it. Well, that's not you. You don't. You're not doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, man. That's, yeah, that's one more less thing I have to. That's one less thing I have to do. Great Tim Zhu. Have you? Have you? Uh, have you seen many of his fights? I mean, I know we know I him. I haven't but... really seen his fight. Um, but he's an extremely, extremely nice guy. And I, I would, you know, I mean, if I if, you, if I see one of his fights, I cheer for him. What do you think about Jake Paul handpicking his opponents, and is that what you call cherry picking? I think it's different in his case because he's maximizing his revenue. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't think you can call it cherry picking for him because, I mean, he's famous enough to pick whoever he wants to, and he can pick anybody at any in any sport. I mean, anything that, that, you know, that he feels that is appropriate. Because, I mean, like I said, he hasn't, he hasn't actually fought one boxer, an actual boxer. But the one legit disagreement we have in, I think maybe you partially agree, his four fights are on par, at least with most people's first four no, fights no, no, of caliber. No, fight. no, no, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, mean, yeah, I mean, he's... he's Chavez fighting, was fighting debut people at 50 fights in. Yeah, but what I'm saying is this, though, still... Like I said, just because a guy do a great combat striker and this and that, that don't mean nothing. That don't but, mean nothing to a guy that's a boxer. Yeah. I mean, if all those guys that he fought, they wouldn't even hit me at all. Yeah. But still, a lot of guys, like I said, are fighting. I like, mean, I take my hat off to him for doing what he's doing, and I think that I think that he's actually became, you know, a fighter that can actually, you know, get in there with somebody in. You know, he does have power. He has a punching chest, you know, against, against maybe some decent fighters. But I think some people are trying to think like he's a Lomachenko or, you know, someone coming out in the first, second fight and be fighting top guys. Floyd, who didn't take as many, quote unquote, you know, easy fights, mm -hmm. I think I counted seven ones before he fought a real guy. So so a lot of, you know, it's it's not, people keep saying he should be fighting a contender and stuff. He's No, no, no. People, people are caught up in the hype of it. And then with the hype of it, I mean, you know, I mean, he's a YouTuber. He is a guy that made a living as a YouTuber all these years. And basically, now he's just decided he wanted to box. And being that he decided that he wanted to box, at least he's taking chance and taking risk against guys that, at least I'm going to say a couple guys, he took a risk against, you know, guys that weren't MMA guys. I mean, but, you know, he didn't take no risk against uh Nate, Nate, uh, yeah, 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 you know, so, you know, other than that, I but mean, the thing, obviously, not nearly as credentialed or skilled as Floyd is, but again, he's kind of doing what Floyd did, right? It's about the money, right? So he's going to fight, exactly. he's not, you know, like Floyd, when he, you know, he's maximizing his revenue, right? When he was fighting at the end of his career, same thing what Jake's doing, he's yeah, not, right? yeah, Sorry. yeah, my, my brother-in-law is John Sinclair, oh, okay, so that's how I know him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have a good night, man. Okay. Take care. But, you know, Jake's not, you know, Jake, you know, may or may not want to be a world champion someday, but the one thing he's going to do is make as much money as he can well he can. So every fight's going to be picked to make revenue. Yeah, but I mean, revenue. don't, 
Don't compare him to Floyd because but I'm saying in a, in a tell, no, no, no. I'm gonna tell you why. Because Floyd proved himself mm -hmm. in the sport. Oh so, yeah, first, yeah, so, for sure. So yes, he deserves, a much different word. So I mean, so yeah, he earned the right. But I'm saying, that, but, but Floyd but, set the blueprint for a lot of the guys. No, no. But yeah. the Jake or other people coming yeah, up, yeah, the money, yeah, whereas yeah, money. Wrong. I mean, in that sense, yeah. I mean, because I mean, you know, I mean, Jake. I don't even know what he really did before he. He was a Disney kid. Boxed. I know he's on. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know what he did. I just know that, you know, all of a sudden there was a guy that him and his brother that came out here and they became super famous, mm -hmm. you know, and decided to win the box. And I take my hat off to him because I mean, I think that any any person that can generate the kind of money that they do. I mean, it's great, and it not only just great; it's great for boxing. All right, thanks again, Sante. Appreciate it. Look, he had to he had to kiss a little butt first. Mayweather's of the best boxing family. Yeah, Who's true. the second? I don't know. You don't know? No. We got the you, Sphinxes. If, if, we got the we got the Vargas's now. Yeah, I mean, we you got, got, you the, got you the Ali's. Got, you got a lot. Of, you got a lot of um, good families that, that came up in boxing. Got the I Frasers. Mean, yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day, I mean, when you put our achievements against everyone, it's not even close. The banner and trolling between the interview and Jeff is always golden. Yeah, Jeff is always trolling me when I'm trying to be serious, but I appreciate the thing there. Do you honestly believe Floyd is the greatest or just pump or just pump or pound greatest? I don't know. Um... I think anyone being the greatest is left up to your own your own opinion. I mean, because everybody, you know, everybody ain't gonna like you just because you are 50 and old or whatever. I mean, they might not like your personality. There's a whole bunch of people that don't like you. So, no, I mean, that has nothing to do with it, really. Whoever you feel is the best, that's the best, and they're the best to you. In your prime, how would you rank yourself against today's fighters in your weight class? Um, I think I'd do okay. I mean, I was extremely, extremely hard to hit, but I didn't have no punch power, so I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like... You couldn't guess, even knock me out. I, I, I knock you out. I knock you out now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, do a couple more here. Uh, hit the super chat if you want to get your question in. Help support the channel, please. Appreciate it. We'll do it. otherwise. We'll do a couple more here. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot of support for the Ali's with Muhammad, um, Leila, Nico, God the Chavez, is of course, yeah, Junior carrying on the legacy. Uh, let's I mean, see. a lot of great families in boxing. Who's the greatest female boxer ever? Leila Ali, Lucy Riker, someone, and Wolf. Um, to me, I think I think Christy Martin, in a way, because she is really the she opened the doors for everybody, you know. So I, I would I would give her credit for being one of the best women in boxing. Right? And you know, I feel bad for her when she took that fight with Layla Ali. I think that almost hurt her legacy because she was dominated so badly. Yeah. But I mean, my God, she was like half the size of Layla. That was, yeah. you know, so I'm sure she got paid well, you know, was, but yeah, she, I mean, that was a serious size difference there. All right, thank you very much. Again, Dago619, Cali Factor. Who wins, Pacquiao or Whitaker at 147? Uh, I think Whitaker. I think Whitaker because Floyd outboxed him. Whitaker outboxed him. I think that's just the wrong size matchup for uh, Manny there, stick boxer. Well, I mean, I just think that anybody that was going to beat Manny Pacquiao when he, when he was in his prime, they had to have some great boxing skills. Right. Is Floyd Mayweather your dad? No, my brother. I know. I think people are still confused there because they do. Yeah, so it's Roger, <laughs> Jeff, and Floyd's senior brothers, Floyd Jr., so he's and that's Floyd's him. uncle. Yeah. Hell yeah, it's Fred Talks Fighting. Hell yeah. Hey, what's up, Fred? Uh, Fred is dead. 
Like what I say. Best boxing <laughs> promotion to sign with. I guess that's whoever's giving you the most money, right? Yeah. For the most part. That's for whoever. That ain't for me. That's for somebody else to say. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. Unless someone hits a super chat here, let's see. I'll right, do this fancy fight: Tommy Hearns versus Tito Trinidad. Trinidad. I think I would go with Tommy Hearns. I think both of them, they, they, their chin wasn't that great either. Either one of them. So I would definitely go with Tommy Hearns. Mm. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. Oh, by the way, though, we will give a little. We're going to do some stuff here. You see, this is going to become... This is Las Vegas here. Real quick, Jeff. Tell us what's going on in this place. Um, well, this is a, a gym that eventually is going to be... It's going to be a brand under my name. Eventually, um, meaning May 6th. Yeah, May 6th. <laughs> May 6th, we'll have a brand opening. And then there'll be a name change. And the gym will be the Jeff Mayweather International Training Center. It's not the Jeff Mayweather Funkin' Dojo? But that's what it was gonna be. No, nah, it'll be that. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, hopefully, um, anybody that comes to Vegas that's watching this, you, 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 and you, Reggie come. the Tree especially. Yeah, and hey, Mr. Tree. Yeah, definitely. You come in, all of y'all. Just come by, stop in the gym, and say hi, or get a session with me. Yeah. All right, guys. Appreciate. It. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by.